morning prayer on Monday the 15th of November 2021. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth may be moved, and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seeds. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. Therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar and the kingdoms are shaken. But God utters his voice and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord. What destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear, and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God of Jacob, when the earth shakes and the nations are in uproar, speak and let the storm be still through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Canticle I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing, now it springs forth. Do not perceive it. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people who I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. A reading from Matthew chapter 7. Jesus said to the crowds, Do not judge, so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbour's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbour, let me take the speck out of your eye, while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite! First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbour's eye. Do not give what is holy to dogs, and do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them underfoot and turn and maul you. Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receive, receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and the prophets. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our, from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, we will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. We now come to our time of prayer. We'll pause between each section of the prayers while we offer our own prayers where we are. We pray for the saints on earth, that they may live as citizens of heaven. We pray for all people, that they may hear and believe the word of God. We 
pray for all those for whom winter is difficult and who fear going into the months of cold weather. We pray for our Queen and Government and all who lead that they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ. We pray for all those who are in grief or who tend the sick and wait for the dying. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves even as he is pure, that when he shall appear in power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.